Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. Alright, Yahweh be in the Heavenly Father's name, Ba'ashim, meaning through the name, Yahweh Shai being the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and Rakakwadash meaning uh, Spirit Holy. Alright, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, teach well, and uh, peace and blessings to the elect Akim out there and the one third that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. You know, to you brothers, I say, uh, uh, Brock Thumb. All right, uh, this lesson is going to be about uh, how, how to deal with women in Babylon. All right, I'm going to start by reading Proverbs 31 and, and 3. All right, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. All right, because, hey man, you, you're not supposed to be uh, uh, bending over backwards for these women. Um, in fact, I'm gonna get it in uh, uh, First Ezra chapter four, verse uh, twenty-six. Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. All right. So basically, you got a lot of beta males out here. All right. And, and really, girls don't really like beta males. All right. They like alpha males. You know, ones that take initiative. All right. Because beta males are the ones that that uh, uh you know uh. uh our pushovers, they're the nice guys. If you look at the word nice uh, in Edom Online, basically means uh, like soft, stupid. Yeah. Alright, this is the word nice. This is the, like the root word uh, uh, or the, uh, the best definition for it, for the word nice. You know, the etymology of it. Uh, Late, te late 13 C, foolish, stupid, senseless, careless, clumsy, weak, poor, needy, simple, stupid, silly, foolish, ignorant, unaware, literally not knowing, all right, uh, not to know, all right, that's, that's the uh, breakdown of it, is <clears throat> the knee part is not. And the uh, sci, you know, that's where you get science from to know, all right. So it's stupid, all right, to be to be the nice guy, all right. Uh, in, in a family, you know that that f uh, father figure it is that hard, uh, 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 sturdy uh, uh, person, all right, in the in the household, all right. You know, women women don't like uh, uh, soft soft pushover beta males man because beta males uh you know they get pushed over and, and they they look for someone to feel sorry for them so so they'll be like ah well they give them some help or whatever or 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 uh and, and really the nice guys finish last you know that, that they get they get used a lot you know they they uh women will play on that uh, nice guy because you know the nice guy will buy them drinks uh, you know they flirt with them a little and they go out of their wits to be their servants all right they do whatever they say all right and, and um, verse 27 all right first Ezra 4 and 27 many also have perished have erred and sinned for women all right prime example uh, 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 Samson now you look about you look at what what he did, man. He 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 told told her uh, his secrets. Going back to Proverbs thirty one and three, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroys kings. Now, the thing with secrets, man, that's also power. All right, you know, um, you know that that's why girls like like mysterious guys. You know, like you don't have to tell women like your every move. All right, you just gotta let them know, like, hey, I'm not doing anything. Like, I'm a, like, if you're a righteous man, you're a righteous man. You know, you're not doing anything off. You know, she doesn't have to know all your business 24/7, because what she'll do is she'll start to use that against you. All right. You know that, like, uh, uh, you know, whatever it may be. You know, she 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 tries to find out your your secrets and, and start uh, bad-mouthing you as a person 
and, and then that that's how you you know run out of your wits you know that's that mental abuse part of it all right she, she'll use your she'll blackmail you with your secrets to try to control you you know even if your secrets aren't aren't you doing anything wrong um it's still annoying to have everybody know about your business right um I'm going to jump to uh, uh, Isaiah 32 and, and 2. All right. And it reads, And a man shall be as a hi as an hiding place from the wind, and a cover it from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, and as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. All right. You know, so that, that, that man and the family... Uh, uh, you know, is that alpha male that's strong, you know, uh, that protects the family from, from whatever dangers there is, right? There may be, you know, that that's why uh, Isaiah 4 and 1, that's why um, Isaiah 4 and 1 reads this. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own peril only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach all right so that's why in the end times you're going to see a bunch of women cling on to to men of the lord all right is because they know how to be that alpha male all right the lord is dealing with the alpha males all right you know um it's because they're they're gonna have that strength all right because the lord is our our, our cover all right he's the alpha alpha and omega <laughs> You know, he, he's that ultimate alpha, all right? And, and uh, he, he teaches the men, you know, I'm going to get the order, all right? Um, 1 Corinthians 11, verse, verse 2, all right? Now I praise ye, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you, all right? So this is the order that Paul gave to the church. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, all right, Yahweh Shai. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of uh, Mashiach is Yahweh. All right, the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. All right, that's why when we, you know, start our videos, we say Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. That's how we pray, all right, because we can't go through, uh, we can't get to the Most High without, through His Son, all right, that's the order, all right. And, and, you know, you women need to get in order, all right? Because you have men in order now. There's no excuse, all right? Because, yeah, uh, uh, the reason why most family house families aren't in order is because the men weren't in order. And now this truth has gone out. You know, you got a lot of, you, you got a, a decent amount of men that, that are in order, all right? Uh, relatively, I should say. Because, you know, two-thirds of our people are going to die. And, and these heathens are going to be destroyed. So, but but there are men out there, all right, that that are in order. Um, you know, and, and that's 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 the order, man. You shouldn't be under the uh, under the woman, all right. Um, you shouldn't be. Uh, you know, it's not. It's not. Uh, you shouldn't compromise on what your family should do. The man sets the rulings, and then, you know, the woman can either get with it or leave. All right? And that's in 1 Corinthians, the 7th chapter. All right? Uh, uh, this whole chapter is is uh, talking about marriage, all right? Um, let's see. I'm, I want to see where to start. Um uh, I'll start at 1, and then I might jump around, all right? This is 1 Corinthians, the 7th chapter, starting at verse 1. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband, all right? So, you know, that, that's, you know, a lot of uh, Christians like to say, use that scripture to, to say, oh yeah, one man, one wife. 
you know, but that's that's not really the, the Bible's teaching, all right? That's that just written for the Corinthians to tell them that because um, there's a lot of orgies going on and stuff. And adult, adultery, all right, fornication, he said to avoid that, you know, every man have their own wife. It doesn't say have a wife, has his own wife, all right? Now, if I got multiple cars and someone asks me if I, if I have my own car, I'm going to say, yeah. How many is a different question, all right? And then uh, her, the, the woman have her own husband, all right? But she is supposed to only have one husband, all right? Uh, verse 3, let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband, all right? So that's taking that's you know going into the roles of of the uh, man and man and the woman in a family, right? The role of a husband is to you know make sure she's all right. In fact, I'm gonna get it. Going into the law, uh, Exodus chapter twenty one. Uh, verse 10 if he take him another wife her food her raiment and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish all right so I mean that that's the role of a man is to provide her food provide her clothing uh, and and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish all right so that duty of marriage is lay that pipe man you know because, uh, you know, jumping back to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, I'm going to jump down to, or, well, it's actually the next verse. All right, verse 4. The wife hath not power of over her own body, but the husband. And likewise, uh, also the husband hath, hath not power over his own body, but the wife. All right. Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time. Right, because, you know, you got a lot of people, and nowadays, like, they try to play hard to get or whatever, you know, they, they, and they, uh, in their relationship, they, they, like, withstain from another just to get back at, e at each other, and that, that's when, uh, well, I'm gonna keep going, that ye may, uh, give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontent, incontinency, incontinency. Yeah, man, because, um, you know, the only time when it's okay to with, withhold sex from your partner is, you know, if you uh, uh, tell them, like, hey, I'm, I'm fasting, you know, uh, or, you know, for the Sabbath or if she's on her period, all right? You know, because you're supposed to have that understanding. Really, men are supposed to know when their girls are on their periods so you don't, like, deal with them and also because they're unclean. Um, but when, when, when they're not on their period and, and a man need, needs some sex, uh, and it's okay for him to do it at that time, then the woman should have sex with him, all right? So Satan doesn't tempt him to, to, you know, go off and do some weird shit, all right? Same thing with women. If women need some sex right then and there, and the man isn't fasting, and, uh, he let her know that. Um, he's supposed to uh, give her some sex, all right? Um, let's see, I'm going to jump down. Uh, yeah, I'll jump down to eight. I say, therefore, to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I. Um, but if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn, all right? So, I mean, that's talking about that, that, you know, when you get horny, man, you know, you got to release that, that, that feeling, man, because, you know, you'll start doing some weird shit, you know, demons will conjure up and, 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 and uh, you'll start, start doing weird stuff, man. Um, uh, verse, verse 10, um, and unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. 
alright? But, and if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband, and let not the husband put away his wife. Alright, so really it's unlawful to, to, to uh, divorce your woman, alright? But check this out. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord, or, but to the rest speak I, not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. Alright? So, I mean, if there's a chick that you're dealing with, and she doesn't, she doesn't believe in the scriptures, but she still likes to, to be with you, you know, don't put her away. Alright? You know, don't divorce her, so to speak. And the woman which hath an husband that believeth not, and if he uh, be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. All right. So I mean, if if there's a woman and you believe in, if a chick believes in the scripture, the scriptures, and and the, her husband doesn't believe, then you're not supposed to leave your man. You know, you're uh, as long as like he likes being with you because he may be attracted to something uh, in this in your way of living that's uh, that could save him all right and it explains that and the woman which hath an husband that believeth not and if he be pleased to dwell with her let her not leave him for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband you know so they're still holy all right they're, they're sanctified by by being with you all right. Uh, else were your children unclean, but now they are holy. So now, now that uh, uh, your your children are holy too, you know, because if you if you divide up the parents, man, you know your children are gonna wild out, man. Um, but if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. All right, so if, if they don't believe it and they depart, you know, check it. Uh, a brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases, but God hath called us to peace. All right, so I mean, if they 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 uh, don't believe you and they depart from you, hey, you're, you're you're in peace then. All right, you know, you don't have to deal with them. You know, because it's not for them. All right. For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Or what, or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? All right? So that's basically saying you don't know who the one-third is. You don't know who the elect are. Because, you know, uh, uh, you know they, they may come into the truth. You know, they see that you're consistent about this, uh, you know, uh, about your beliefs. And you've, like, it wasn't just a phase, so to speak. You know, you've been consistently, you know, to each in the name, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and they admire that. And then, like, oh, dang, what, what you're speaking is the truth, all right? Because you got to understand that, that uh, uh, you know, yeah, the Most High is predestined women, too, to come into this truth. It may just not be their time to come in yet, so you don't really know if you're going to uh, save, your, save your wife yet. All right. Um, but that, that's all I had, I think. Uh, let me check my notes. Oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna get the Ecclesiastes or Ecclesiasticus. Sorry. Uh, or uh, Sirach. Sirach 36 and 24. I'm going to end it with this. All right, this is like my last one. I, I didn't mean for it to go this long. Uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 36 and 24. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. All right? So, I mean, uh, so a wife is, is that pillar of rest. All right? She's that pillow that you lay on when you're discomforted. All right? So, you women... You know that's what you got to be to to these men in the truth, all right? But instead, you got a lot of women that that are uh, that are a thorn in their sides, man. You know, and, and you know the Most High is looking on that, and you're gonna get, you know, what you sow, all right? 
a help unto himself. You know, uh, you know, you're always helping out around the, around the house. All right, cooking, cleaning. You know, making sure he's all right, massaging his his tense muscles. All right. Um, a possession, man. You know. You know, uh, you belong to to your husband. All right. You know, you're supposed to follow his orders. You know, because he's the head of the household. Um, but yeah, with that, I hope this video was edifying. And uh, to the elect and one third, Akium and Aguatium, uh, Barak and Thom, Shalom.